Hey guys, welcome to your bonus energy check-in for Pisces. This is going to be for your uh, rest of your August going into September. We're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the rest of the month. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading, a reading that's tailored uh, specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about... Um, Pisces, Pisces, energy check-in for Pisces, over energies for Pisces for the rest of their August going into September for Pisces here. So we have journey, okay? Some of you guys are perhaps going on some sort of spiritual journey here. Some of you guys be tra traveling at this time here, liter literally, okay? Some of you guys could be traveling for the Labor Day holiday or something like that pretty soon. We have Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay. Some of you guys could be finding your creativity at this time here. Okay. Some of you guys could be finding your inspiration. Okay. It could be a situation that you guys are fine, like you guys are feeling empowered by walking away from something or walking away from someone that's no longer serving a purpose in your life here. I do feel like right now you guys are seeking purpose. You know, I feel like you guys are seeking your life's purpose at this time here. And I feel like where you are at right now, look at this. You're walking away from envy. You're walking away from jealous people. You're walking away from haters here, okay? And I feel like you guys are feeling empowered at this time here, okay? Yeah, it seems like you're walking away from people here that might be in this energy of trying to take you down here, you know? Trying to limit you, trying to minimize you here. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on. For the rest of August going into September. For Pisces. Strength. Leo energy. Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, it does seem like you guys are kind of gaining the courage to walk away or, and get up and go on a, you know, go on a different path, go on a journey here, go travel, okay? I do feel like you guys, you know, are making new plans for yourself. You guys are making new goals for yourself at this time here. Some of you guys are stepping into this like really, really, really just this really creative energy. Like I feel like you guys are seeing ample opportunity multiple opportunities coming towards you or that you guys are finding opportunities at this time here okay with the page of swords here libra aquarius gemini some of you guys could be learning okay some of you guys could be learning how to heal or learning how to meditate here i'm getting guided meditation or some sort of you know ancient form of meditation here you know whichever one resonates with you Seven of Cups and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. <coughs> <coughs> the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Also, we have the Page of Cups, not the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You guys are definitely seeing a way forward where I feel like you guys are heading on or the right path here, or that you guys are choosing the right path for yourself. Okay, and that you guys are moving towards your victory and your success here. As I look at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, not the Six of Cups, uh, Six of Wands. Okay, let's see. Tell me the Strength card. 
Six of Wands again. Look at that. Six of Wands and the Strength card here. Seems like you guys are finding a lot of self-confidence at this time here. Just feeling really powerful at this time. Okay, so we have the uh, six, uh, the uh, six of wands. We have the knight of swords, and we have the eight of wands here. Things are changing for you in a really big way, very quickly here too. I feel like things are really picking up momentum for you guys. Like I said, I feel like for, also for towards the end of the month and going into September, some of you guys could be traveling at this time here. Okay, so. Um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of movement that's happening here. Well, we do have the Eight of Wands here. We have also have the Chariot. We also have Walking Away and Journey here with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. We have the Page of Swords and also the Queen of Wands here. Three of Cups and the... Queen of Wands. You guys are definitely finding just a lot of creativity and passion at this time here. I feel like you guys are just in this very driven energy here, just going for what you want. And I'm realizing that there are certain people that you're walking away from that's not adding a value to that into your life. The Chariot and the Five of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be overcoming financial obstacles at this time here. Another thing is I'm getting is that some of you guys could be paying a lot for car repairs or that some of you guys could be getting an increase in your car insurance or something like that. We have the Magician and the Queen of Cups. So you guys are in this energy of just master and manifesting at this time here. Tell me about Journey. Eight of Swords. Seems like you guys are breaking away or overcoming your fears at this time. And just like I said, really just going for it here. Okay? Finding that inspiration, finding that passion, finding that drive to do something here, to make changes here. So that you could be the best version of yourself. So you have Second Chakra and the Nine of Pentacles here. Wow. Pisces. You guys are also achieving financial abundance at this time here. Okay? I do feel like whatever you're creating here, let's say if you guys are, are you know, started a business here, I do feel like it's going to be really, really, really successful here, Pisces. Walking away. Walking away. And also the three of wands here. Seems like, yeah, seems like you're moving towards the future here. You're not letting thing, anything hold you back. You're not letting your fears hold you back. You're not letting, uh, you know, any sort of like grief and, you know, any sort of like emotional baggage, anyone or anyone around you hold you back. There's a sense of breaking free and sort of like finding your power here, okay? You guys are finding your power here at this time. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on? Wow. Pisces, what a major glow up here. You guys are in this really creative energy here. You guys are master manifesting here. You guys are attracting what you want at this time here. You guys are in just this really beautiful creative energy here and really breaking free of anything that's holding you back at this time here. I just feel like you guys are feeling really powerful. I feel like you guys are feeling like you are in power and control here, all right? So let's see what else we have. We have temperance, just in this really peaceful, this balance and healing energy here. You know, I feel like you're radiating, radiating, radiating a, a healing energy, this light, and I feel like a lot of people are being guided towards you or that people, you're just a people magnet. People just feel very comfortable and very safe here with you. What else do we have? Six of Cups. Wow. Some of you guys could be breaking free or letting go of the past at this time here. Okay? Perhaps you guys are, uh, you know, kind of like in this very bittersweet energy of letting go and moving on and just healing here. And just focusing on you, focusing on the journey, focusing on moving forward here. Four Cups. Yeah, I feel like you guys are looking back, seeing how far you guys have come here. And I feel like you guys are just in a really good place here, uh, Pisces. What else do we have? Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Some of you guys could be getting some sort of job offer here. Yeah, some of you guys could be getting an offer here, some sort of promotion here that it's going to elevate you in a way where it's going to help you financially also. All right, so Pisces, this looks good. 
Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.